What's up guys, my name is Redcoat, and welcome back to Martha is Dead. This is episode 4. In the last episode, everyone found out that we're not Martha, that we're not Martha and that Martha is actually dead, not Julia. We left off as we were approaching the lake early morning, um, after our mother beat the piss out of us, and uh, we're going to go see if we can get some snappy snappies or talky talky with the uh, no face. So, so far, interesting, more things have happened during the daytime hours of this game than during the nighttime hours, which is not usual for a horror-themed game. I do genuinely think this game is a good game. Now, I wouldn't have called it a thriller so far. It seems more like a narrative kind of drama. Even though there are choices to make, there aren't, it doesn't seem like there's been any significant choices. It all seems like it's been on the rails pretty much so far. You know what I mean? The game looks fantastic. You know? And it's had some interesting moments. But I'm not quite sure how I feel about the game as a whole yet. As far as I can tell, we're only about halfway through. So, we'll see. We'll see how the game ends up. It's not about how you start, it's about how you finish. Without all the necessary elements, there's no point traveling to the island. So, why was this rag in the thing? My dress. It could be the element that links my world with that of the lady. It has been here for a few days, in a place that is both mine and hers. Why... Th why I thought I had to cut my hair? Is that not it? Without all the necessary elements, okay. there's no point travelling to the island. How am I supposed to... I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a ball of mist just sat on the water right there. <laughs> I should probably check my, my things, right? Telephone, what? Oh, okay, so I've just got a whole bunch of numbers. It's cool to know. <laughs> Take a photo of the grave in the woods. Grave in the fucking woods! There was a grave in the woods. How do I get to the white lady, though? Mother... Bitch, it's so far away. Well, I'll see you when we get back there. So I think that I'm here. I don't know what I'm hoping to find, but what else can I do? I will hopefully see if one of these graves is hiding something. I hope that the infrared film will show me. Object is framed. Exposure. Properly exposed. Focus. In focus. Quiet add ons, adjustments. Let's go ahead and add that. Add this. Right, let's take, a, take the picture. Got it. Okay, go develop the photo. Alright, so that seems pretty easy. Look, I'm. This, this thing, this objective with it with Telegraph, I think I'm going to ignore that completely because it's overcomplicated and bullshit. If I have to do it later, then I'll just skip to me solving it because I'm, I'm not in the mood for that bullshit. <laughs> Let's go develop this fucking picture. I'll see you back in the room. Does it seem darker in here than it usually does? There's more lenses. The yellow filter. If it were to snow, it would be perfect. 
the green filter. Useful for landscapes. Oh, really? <sighs> what the f... Sure. Back to doing my favorite thing. <laughs> There's the grave I've been searching for. The spirit of a prisoner. Just like the white lady, he's trapped in this world, but they can no longer meet one another. Evil is separating them. Evil separates them? I'm not sure. That's true. Okay. Find the correct cave. The correct cave? Uh, there's a lot of running around in this one. I guess I'll see you guys when I get back to the cave. Oh, am I just taking stuff now? If I wear this, it should allow me to make contact with her. With this object, she'll have to hear me, I have no doubt. Does she have to? Now that I have everything I need to communicate with the lady, I can finally go to the island. Oh. See you guys at the boat then, I guess. Madness. All right, so I should be able to hop on the boat and get the funk over there to the island. Am I gonna get? Do I get the controller, or is it just gonna be a little in a cinematic? Oh. That's a cute little engine. Oh. Yeah, baby. Quick, play the Hawaii Five O thing too. Oh, wicked! <laughs> Let's go. I can't hear a word you're saying. Oh, I'm assuming I parked right there. Those well carved looking steps. Maybe? That was totally me, and the, the game didn't just track to beam me up to the thing or nothing. P.S. Oh, no, I'm just an idiot. I'm seeing things that aren't there. Suddenly it's a horror game again. Okay. This is the tree the lover was hung from, according to the legend. Did I just throw the film on the ground? What is that? A roll of film. It's the one that I was taking out of the camera just before I discovered Martha's body. It should contain shots from before that moment. With a bit of luck, one of the shots has captured the moment of Martha's murder. I will then finally have an answer. Was it really mummy? I will develop it as soon as I can, but now it's time to speak with the white lady. Oh. I will 
wear her lover's cross to draw her to me. Oh, it's my hair. I was like, what the f fuck? The first time I'd seen hair. A lock of my hair. The whole time. To enter into her world. I will use the tarot cards to communicate with her. The first ten will be used like I did oh, with Manny. Oh, ten of these? Once okay, two that's two. Have been chosen, it should begin. That's three of them. That's four of them. You keep in count with me. That's five of them. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> okay. You camouflage yourself in the woods to approach me. You blend in with the water to make yourself known. You wish to communicate with me through the energy of symbols. You use my pain to summon me. You are very bold. You call upon me for knowledge that I do not possess. And fuck it then, for see that. answers there. I do not have. And hang I am up. only a vessel. Like water, like air. A vessel to move and breathe. It worked. Now I need to choose two cards. Here we go. And why are we still here? Should we tell her she didn't fucking give a shit? I wonder if it doesn't matter what order you pick. It just gives you the same exact cards. Probably does, right? You do not have control of yourself. There is a dark figure inside you. The wound that there you go. <laughs> it will do things you do not like. It will use your desires, your guilt, the darkest parts of your conscience. What is it? I can sense that you want to know who did it, but I do not have the answer. You must find it yourself. Do not ever try to enter through the front door if you wish to reach the heart. Your twin sister might have the answer you are looking for. So I would. Even after death, we leave traces of ourselves. Don't we? Everything is indefinite if you look at the essence of things. Super confusing. You will no longer be able to tell light from dark. In sorrow, the difference is so subtle. You are alone, and you will remain alone. That's very nice. Memories are abandoning you. They are your only true companions. Oh. Now they take the place of your happy childhood, and they may return to keep you company. Part of our soul embraces the people we love. It is then torn away from us when these people disappear. The wound is deep and it cannot heal. Faith vacillates. Death causes fear. But the church is a safe place. It is home and mother to its children. Faith is the light. Do not lose it. Finding it again is almost impossible. I lost it in sorrow, and without time, I am lost in the dark.
The daughter, the house, the mother. The daughter comes from the mother's house, then makes herself a home. Who am I supposed to ask her? This cycle is broken. Found him. To undo the knot, find the son. He is the original sin reflected on you. The one who gave you the light wishes to take it back. She wants control. Bit by bit, she is crumbling your life. You have to stop her. I don't know what any of that meant. <gasps> Motherfucker! Jesus Christ! Cool. Wait. She just snatched the next and snatched me? Why am I down here? Where do I swim? Why does that look like my bedroom? Right? Hey. Okay. Looks like a very large toy airplane, maybe? Give me that key. That my key? <gasps> Speaking with the white lady confused me even more, but at least now I have this key. Right. So not dark out, okay. Uh, okay. So why am I in this room if they know it's not, uh, Martha? Oh, it's the key to this. Okay. July 16th. Dear sister, I entrust my secrets to this letter. If you are reading it, things have gone as I thought they might, and I am no longer there with you. First of all, I am not deaf, and I never was. Mother scared me when we were little, so I decided not to speak or listen anymore. It worked. In fact, Mother began to love me. They also found a scientific explanation for my deafness. Neurological damage caused by excessive pressure exerted by the twin during pregnancy progressively led to hearing loss. And like that, my decision was also transformed into a fault of yours. So I must put it right. Do I have any other secrets? Unfortunately, yes, but a letter is too cold for such matters. Now that you know that I can speak, please go to the dark room. I have a hidden recording. Listen to Ooh. it and you will hear my voice. Farewell, Martha. Why all of this madness, Martha? What else have you been hiding from me? You deprived me of your voice for more than 15 years. I can't wait to hear it now. That's kind of spooky. That 
bitch. I'm going to end it right here. So I don't want this episode to be very long. Because after that last episode, where I ran around for two hours, not knowing what the hell I was doing, um, it ended up being a long episode. So this is going to be a short one. Thank you so much for joining me. We just found out that Martha was never deaf. She's a lying bitch. I've been Redcoat. You've been you. This was Martha is Dead, episode four. I'll catch you next time. You enjoy yourselves. Peace.